Hi, my name is Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics, where we grow cool plants. And today we're here at the Laguna Hills Nursery in Santa Ana, California, where we're going to meet the owner, second generation owner of this nursery, Gary Matsuoka, who's going to talk about three very important and very different gardening lessons that'll help you make this growing season your best. Let's get started. So here we are now with the owner of the Laguna Hills Nursery, Gary Matsuoka. Did I pronounce that all right? Good enough, that's good. And um, if you want to share with all of us, what are the three topics we're going to discuss in today's lessons? Well, today we'll be talking about what makes our potting soil different than anyone else's, and then talk about uh, whitewashing certain trees for uh, sunburn protection, and end up with a uh, little uh, discussion about apple trees. Wonderful. So Gary, what lesson are we going to talk about in this lesson? Well, there are some plants in that we sell that get sunburnt. So the, that's where the ivy organics come into good use. Um, among the plants that we sell that normally typically get sunburnt are mango trees like this one and avocados, which seem to grow exactly the same way and have the same flowers and everything. So uh, occasionally we get sunburning on citrus and, uh, and also on apple trees. So to prevent that, we apply whitewash to areas of the tree that are exposed more to the sun. Now this tree, slightly leaning to the north, leaves this part of this branch totally exposed to the full force of the summer sun. And you can see where it's kind of gotten light colored here. That's a, a mild sunburn, hasn't shut down the circulation of the tree, but if it gets bad enough, you can lose the entire branch above the sunburnt area uh, and the tree has to regrow the branch. So that happens a lot on uh, avocados and mango trees. And it can have, we've seen it on uh, during real heat spells on apples and, and citrus too. Now generally the leaves don't burn. It's the stems that the leaves are supposed to be shading that can burn. So if this branch was straight up, it generally wouldn't burn, but because it's leaning a little bit to the side, the sun can hit it flush. And that's where we have the trouble. Uh, for a spell in the 90s, 80s and 90s, we did not hit 100 degrees in Orange County at all, but lately it's almost every year now, we're getting well over 100 degrees um, and getting some burnt areas. So we whitewash these once a year, usually before, you know, now with the uh, weather reports, we get a uh, good warning and when it's gonna be ab above 100. So we can do with the whitewash at that time and protect them. So. That's great. You made an, um, an important point. While the tree is still young like this, um, the entire tree trunk is exposed. And as you said, if it if it gets sunburned from that point up, it'll pretty much kill the branch. And right now, it's the tree, and above this point is the graft. So our selected flavor of mango in this instance is going to be potentially compromised. Um, when it comes to the health and the life of the plant, the goal is that as these branches continue to grow, and it's also the importance of even maybe staking your tree at this young age to basically make sure it's got that upright position so that it basically shades that lower uh, part of the plant, the, the lower trunk, the lower branch of the tree. Um, I sometimes, and I've been using this for a while, I don't know if you've ever heard it, but I, I sometimes refer to that area from the ground up that trunk and those lower branches as the heart of the plant because if I protect the heart, the, the main parts of the tree, even if I lose some of those outer bran branches, um, I can always prune it back and also regenerate new branches from the heart being the lower part of the tree. As long as that's preserved, oh, my tree is going to live a lot longer, healthier life. So um, the other thing too when it comes to whitewashing, um, can you explain the benefits of whitewashing winter versus whitewashing summer? Um, where those benefits would be? Well, some of course we get the high temperatures uh, So any exposed branches can get burnt and if you're pruning at all in the summertime Whatever you expose you've got to whitewash because that area has not seen the Sun for a long time And it's it's not used to it. So even sometimes uh, If it's not 100 degrees, they'll burn if once when you prune them So prune them after you prune a tree watch where you where it can burn and whitewash that now in the winter time and in the springtime too, almost any time of the year, especially with avocados, a lot of the trees tend to go bare when they're blooming. And they're, so a lot of the orchards in California are whitewashed in the winter time because the trees tend to drop a lot of leaves at that time. And 
plus the sun's at a very low angle. So a lot of branches that don't get hit by the sun in the summer are suddenly exposed in the winter. And in the winter time now, we're getting a lot of hot temperatures. 90 degrees is not unusual anymore in the winter time. That's true. So uh, whitewashing in the winter is important also. That's great. And we're happy to um, share that the Laguna Hills Nursery also stocks the Ivory Organics 3-in-1 products as well as the whitewash line. Um, so we're so happy that um, you brought in our products um, into your beautiful and lovely nursery. Thank you, Thank you so much, Gary. All right, thanks. We're also proud to share that the Laguna Hills Nursery is also carrying the Ivory Organics 3-in-1 products as well as the whitewash products that you can find here as well. Um, and we're very grateful that Laguna Hills Nursery is carrying um, these products. Um, be sure you can also call in in advance to make sure that you've got the colors that you're looking for before you make the trip. I'm going to give you all of that contact information right now. So let me share with you how conveniently located the Laguna Hills Nursery is. If you come in a little closer, you can see that they're just off of the 55 freeway. They're just off the 22 freeway. They're just off the 5 freeway. And they're in the city of Santa Ana, but they're bordering. So here's Santa Ana, but they're bordering the city of Tustin. They're bordering the city of Orange. Um, Anaheim is right there. There's Disneyland. So if you come down to Disneyland, don't forget to stop by Lugan Hills Nursery. There's Knott's Berry Farm, um, very close to Seal Beach and Long Beach as well. Um, and then here's all of their contact information. Laguna Hills Nursery, you can also go to lagunahillsnursery.com, located at 1829 North Tustin Avenue in Santa Ana, California. And feel free to give them a call to make sure you've got your plants in stock at 714-542-5600. So when you go to the lagunahillsnursery.com, you'll see that they do free gardening classes every Saturday morning starting at 9.15 a.m. Do not forget to sign up for the weekly newsletters where you'll get a lot of helpful tips and gardening tips directly from Gary. Um, and do you want to share some other lessons that you talk about in your gardening classes? Well, coming up, uh, we've got one on sustainable gardening and then we have one on pruning. We do special classes on roses, how to take care of them, how to choose them. Uh, we go through most of the fruit trees and the vegetables also. So we cover, try to cover everything uh, throughout the year. Every class, every week is different. That's fantastic. There's so many informative educational lessons and I learn something new every time I'm here with you. At the end of this video, I'm basically going to put all the links to all of the Laguna Hill Nursery YouTube channel videos that um, they've been publishing with their garden lessons that they've been doing um, for the last, um, I think, think about three to six months of, of content is up there right now. Um, and, and, and stay tuned. By subscribing, you'll be connected to all of that. So again, do not forget to subscribe, like their videos, come and visit this nursery. It's one of my favorite places here in Orange County. Um, and thanks again, Gary, for all of your help. Oh, thank you. If you, so I hope you've enjoyed this educational moment um, from Gary at the Laguna Hills Nursery and Ivory Organics. And if so, be sure to like it. And most importantly, by subscribing below, you'll be connected to this and all of our other helpful and educational videos. Thanks again for watching and happy gardening.